Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new today, episode 36 of the career mode. Uh, we have Michigan and Bristol as our two races for today. We're sitting 11th in points. We finished fourth at Watkins Glen last episode, which I know I made a ton of mistakes in, had a lot of damage. But Sterling Marlin still holds the points lead, but barely over Kurt Busch now. He only has an 11 point lead uh, and also only like 35 over Mark. Martin so it's getting tight up front now for the uh, points lead so it's getting very interesting but Michigan's a very big track we'll see if we have any speed we're very close to getting an upgrade we have 900 and uh, almost $50,000 we need 980,000 so hopefully we could do well enough here at Michigan to where we can get $30,000 and we can get that engine upgrade that would really help us out all right car feels pretty good here it doesn't get too tight it, like it's nice and uh snug on the bottom fastest we ran was like a 39.9 i know I, it says we ran a 39.7 but i think that might have been a previous time we ran here uh i guess we ran here earlier in the season we're starting to hit some tracks twice now so hopefully we can actually pick up on that time in the race with some draft help i don't know if we'll be able to improve that time here just qualifying speed but if we could hit that 39.9, uh, that would be really nice. Because that would still put us uh, pretty well up there. But I think there's still some more guys to qualify. I didn't see what number we were qualifying at. So we still might fall back some potentially. But we have this thing almost maxing out in the straights. It doesn't hit the chip or anything yet. So I think we're all right there. A little bit more speed in the draft will probably hit that. So I'm trying to leave a little bit of leeway for that. Try to go a little faster when we're in the draft. And we'll see what kind of time we can hit. We got one lap here. We got to not screw it up. Don't turn too much. It's like Daytona where I can like barely move the steering and keep a good line. I didn't turn in early enough. I'm trying to keep the speed though. So I'm trying not to turn back down the track. It's not awful, but I did miss the bottom pretty badly. So that's not the best. Hoping we can do something here. And three and four. Oh, I started turning well, and then I, I overcorrected it, trying to keep the speed for the corner, dropping too much. Went down to 170. I wanted to try to hold at least like 173 or something like that through the corner. But coming to the line, we're going to get a 39.7. Okay, that was better than we had in, in uh, practice. I'll take that. That almost matched our uh, best time ever. So I will take that. That puts us fifth, sixth, and we stay sixth. I will take that. Very, very good. Hopefully we can get like a top five spot here in the race. That would be really solid. And we can definitely get that 30 grand. This is the Michigan International Speedway, home to the automobile industry and some great competition. If you like three and four wide racing, then Michigan's your track. This two-mile trioval allows for great action with its high banks and wide surface. Located just outside the Motor City, drivers are always hoping to put on a great show for the auto industry here. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy race. Very high speeds. You can get a lot of draft. I don't remember where he finished here earlier in the season, honestly. So, not, I'm not sure how we'll do. Uh, 26 laps. We probably have half of that in fuel. We do. Uh, speed limit on pit road is 65 so I know I can get down to that speed and uh, hit that pretty easy oh we are three wide in the middle Bobby Labonte sent the three wide. we're four wide oh geez everybody's going flying by us here right in the beginning this isn't good did we get damage yeah we already got some damage but that's fine I figured that was going to happen very sketchy we're slow on restart so we do not want Rex to say the least because we were very slow there at the start but geez, I had to actually hit the brakes there a quick second to uh, not run over Bobby Labonte. Because I don't want any engine or radiator damage to slow us down. That would be awful at this track. We have a lot of speed on entry to the corners, which makes a lot of sense. Because I guess they slow down a little bit more than we do. Oh, we're going 197 down the straights, nearly 200 miles an hour. That is crazy on how fast we go. And then next week, we're going to one of the slower tracks, like Bristol. Well, not slower, per se, but smaller. Because Bristol is a lot faster than Martinsville. It's still pretty damn small. Martinsville is going to be crazy. I think we have already raced there once. Uh, I know we have in trucks. I don't remember if I've done it there in Cup yet. Might have. I think we did. I think I wrecked Mark Martin there. I wrecked, I wrecked Mark Martin there uh, at a few tracks uh, this season. I think Bristol might have been one of them, honestly. I think we did decent at Bristol earlier in the year, too, so I'm hoping we can have some more success there. Still there. Trying to send it off into these corners. Clear Bobby Labonte. Get back up in the eighth. Clear. That's solid. Let's see if we can catch this pack of Stewart, Jarrett, and I think that's Ricky Rudd in front of them as well. We're running really well. 
We have a ton of speed. Where did Bobby Labonte go? Oh, he's on our inside, I guess, because I don't see him in the mirror. Yeah, he's on the inside. I was so confused. I'm like, where did Bobby Labonte go? I looked in the mirror, and he was nowhere to be found. That, that tripped me out for a second, and we had an awful corner because I let off a little bit. I felt uh, really weird. Oh, don't wreck him. That would have been really bad. I was trying to, like, straighten out a little bit and nearly came down to wreck Bobby. Go to his outside again because we just full throttle the corner. I don't know why I let off a little bit that last corner and we had an awful exit because of it. I need to try to get in front of him on these exits because he has a lot of speed on the exit. If we can get their draft or get Labonte's draft down the straight, that would help out a lot. Because we pass him in the corner. I let off a little bit there because we were tightening up. Yeah, bad exit. Three and four has been bad for us so far. Let's get behind him, try to get some draft again. Catch back up to his bumper as we go into the corner once again and do the cycle all over again. Because we have, what, 22 laps to go. We're probably going to be pitting around, like, I don't know, like lap 10 or so. 10, 11, probably 10, just to be safe. Because sometimes when it says you have three laps of fuel left, you have zero. So you got to be careful with uh, fuel and everything when you uh, get in those situations, it's not good. Especially at these very big tracks. You do not want to be running out of fuel at these big tracks. Check the below to not run him over and try to stay in his draft as much as we could for this straightaway. We're not too far behind Ricky Rudd, Stewart, and Jarrett. They're all still a little bit up there, like a second up there. It's not too bad, but I need to get in front of Labani again. But uh, we keep diving into the corner like we normally do. He just has such a better exit. He has just more drive off the corner because uh, we have a little bit of rear end damage. I don't know if that's any aero damage. Let's see. Is it a little bit of aero damage? Uh, wait for it to say aero. 0%. Okay, so we have no damage on the car physically that's going to affect us. So I don't know why we're so slow on the exit. Just acceleration off the corner. I'm hoping the new motor would help with places like this that are so big. But we're starting to lose time to them. Stewart's actually losing time to uh, Jarrett and to Rudd up there. Because uh, they both passed him and are flying around. But we're going to be pitting here in a few laps time. And it seems like we're just going to be in this big pocket. Because we got a ton of time behind us back to Sterling Marlin and Junior. But in front of us, Bobby Labonte is just holding his own. Stewart's falling back a little bit, but uh, we'll be pitting here very shortly. Okay, I think we're going to pit next time by. We're having a battle here with Labonte again. Actually able to clear him there in one and two. That was a really good corner. Catching up to Stewart as well. Might be able to get a little bit of his draft to help us stay in front of Labonte. That would be perfect. But I think not this lap, but the next lap we're actually end up pitting. Because we have five laps left now. We're probably going to hit four here very shortly. And basically, once we hit three laps of fuel left, you don't know if you're going to be out. Because sometimes I've been sputtering with uh, saying it says three laps to go. So, we're actually catching a bunch of lap traffic up here. Holy crap. There's like 20 cars in front of us that are going to be a lap down. That's crazy. 6.06. That was flying. So, yeah. We're going to pit this time by. We actually might be able to jump ahead of Stewart here. Oh, scraping him a little bit. Oh, geez. Don't wreck him. Oh, he's spinning. That actually might be a caution. Oh, geez, he's spinning out. Oh, Labonte's spinning out, too, behind us. That might be a caution. Is that going to be a caution? I'm pitting this lap regardless. So if there was a caution, uh, we might get lucky. But it seemed like they got going, so we're fine. But we're going to pit right now. Go get fuel only. Be real aggressive. We can get down to 65 pretty easy. Don't speed, though. Right here, we're good. All right, how many cans of fuel we need? We need a whole can of fuel. No tires. We don't need any damage repaired. We're fine on the way the car feels and everything. But we just wrecked Stewart. <laughs> that was that was bad. I barely clipped his front nose, and he went for a spin. Took out Labani in the rear view. If you saw that, that was uh, a little nutty. But uh, hopefully we can get out here pretty quick. 5.3. That was solid. That was solid uh, pick crew right there. Very good. Back to 25th. No caution has came out yet, which is perfect. Definitely do not need a, a caution now. Don't hit me, Sadler. Trying to stay out of his way because I didn't know how low he was going to go on entry to the corner. So I was trying to be cautious there. I did not want to get rear-ended really hard. But pit cycles are going to start uh, happening here within the next few laps. We're 28th. We're going to get back in the 27th very quickly once we pass Hermie. Because uh, we could probably get by him going into this corner. He goes in wide. And we just full throttle the corner. <laughs> we got enough fuel to go the rest of the way. 
and uh, we will see where we end up cycling out here. We were in, what, 7th, maybe? Something like that. I think 7th place was uh, Stuart there, and we ended up spinning him and almost spinning Bobby uh, Labani as well. Labani uh, got super sideways, but saved it somehow. And Stewart probably got it going pretty quick, but he definitely lost a lot of time. So I imagine we can get back up in the seventh, maybe, because this lap traffic is definitely going to slow down some of those leaders. So we'll see if we can try to battle uh, in this race for the top five position. That would be ideal. Ooh, a couple cars are on pit road. Don't know which ones. It looks like Stewart's on pit road. We're up to 20th before pit cycle starts. It looks like Bobby Labonte, who we were battling with. Oh, this is going to be a sketchy turn one. No, we're good. So we're going to get back in front of Labani and go flying by him, which is really good. We don't have to battle with him right away, at least. Don't know. I don't think he got tires or anything. Probably just fuel and go like we always do. But we're been, we've just been dodging, weaving through everybody. Everything's been nice and clean for the most part. Able to get a lot of spots. We got up to 20th before the pit cycle started. Five cars, headed Five into cars pit. pitting. Terry Labonte right in front of us. A handful of cars going in the pit road right in front of him as well. So we're going to gain all those spots. Bobby Labonte staying right with us though. So we had a pretty even pit stop with him, which is pretty cool. Back up to eighth there. That's nice. Don't know if Kenseth and or Mark Martin up there need a pit still. I want to say that they started in front of me. Or they started right behind me and got in front of me right off the uh, the rip. So I think that we're just sitting eighth, like, solidly. Don't know if anybody else needs the pit, because everybody, like, pitted at the same damn time. We gained all the spots at once, pretty much. So we're up to eighth. That's solid. If we could finish here, that'd get us 30 grand, I would imagine, pretty easy. But I don't know if we're going to be able to make up that time. Dave Blaney's on pit road. That's going to be seventh place, which I think is the spot we were in when we pitted because uh, we got in front of Stewart slash Rex Stewart before uh, we pitted. So that's a good sign that we're back to where we were. Don't know if anybody else up front needs the pit. I doubt it. I would be shocked. And we would need a miracle to catch them. We'd need a caution to catch them. But honestly, we're really bad on restarts, so I don't really want a caution because it takes us a few laps to get up to speed and get moving again. Really like a full lap at least because... Uh, Turn one and two is slow for us, and then three and four, we're like just getting up to speed. Might be able to get one of those spots back. Multiple more cars still on pit road, but I think they're all going a lap down or two. It looks like, because on my uh, relative up there, nobody is flying backwards to us. So, yeah, we're going to need either a miracle with a caution to catch people, which I don't really want. How many laps we have left here? We have like six, seven laps left right now. Or we need these lap traffic cars to get side by side in front of Mark Martin and Kenseth and really drop them back to us. Because they're going into turn three up there in the like yellow car. Yellow, yellow and blue. They're the front two way up there. I think I actually think they're behind 131 my camera. Cars headed into the pit. Well, 131. He, uh, didn't he just come out of the pits or was the uh, seven of Atwood here? That's funny. But they're the yellow and blue car way up there going into turn one under the red car. If you can barely see them. But uh, we would need a miracle to catch them at this point. Hopefully, we can hold off Bobby Labonte. Hopefully, things like that behind us happen, where he goes almost into the back of Atwood, and we can actually get a couple tents on him. I think we might be able to hold him off. We'll see. He is very fast down the straightaways, though, which is a problem. Like, he is flying up on us. We would need a miracle to uh, get catch those guys up front for a top five. But I'm happy with a seventh. We qualified in sixth, so we've only really lost one spot in this race currently. He's going to catch us a ton down this straightaway. I had a bad three and four getting that apron. Trying to give him the outside because I know the inside I can just fly back by him. Car high. I clip him with my rear end. Oh, there's going to be lapped cars coming out of pit road too. Sketchy, but we're good. And made Labonte run really high. That's fine. It would have gained a couple more tenths back on him. Try and get up into his lane maybe. I'm going to be able to dive it under uh, Skinner here, I think it is. In the Kodak car. I should be able to get by him underneath. And Labonte's got to slow up and go by him on the outside. Okay, yeah, he's getting slowed up a lot by him. He got to his inside actually now. But we should be able to hold off Labonte. I really do think. We're going by Robbie Gordon. I don't know who's in the Eldon car. 116. Yeah, I have no clue who that is. But Labonte is putting up a fight, man. He is flying. Our right front is absolutely dead in this race because we're just like. Tor uh, torquing on that thing so hard. I could not think of a word to say at first. 
But we're holding the bunny off. I think we can do that for the next like handful of laps. We should be able to, and uh, we should be able to finish here in seven. And we're coming up to the white flag now. It looks like we put a second on Labani. I don't even know when we did that, honestly. I'm just sitting here, like, focusing when we're driving. And, like, I'm cutting the laps out because nothing uh, is happening at all besides us just driving. And I guess I was just so focused in pulling away from Labani, not even realizing it. Actually pulling in Matt Kenseth a little bit because I know he was, like, five seconds ahead of us. So that's pretty cool. Get a solid top seven finish. That's good for us. We're 11th in the points. That might jump us up to 10th in the points, honestly. I don't know who was uh, 10th or how far back we were from them. We'll look after this to see uh, where we're at and how close we are to the top 10. Don't you cut me off. Why'd you do that, Ken Trader? That was just rude. We're going to split that lap card three wide while he's also a lap card to us. Kenseth, Mark Martin, Jarrett, Gordon, Newman, and Rusty Wallace uh, led most laps, too. 21 of the 26 laps. Solid by him. And uh, I don't know if anybody, well, obviously somebody else led laps. If uh, he only led 21, it looks like Ryan Newman and Jeff Gordon led some. Nobody, excuse me, nobody else led any laps, but uh, they probably led like one or two each, honestly, through the pit cycle. All right, we get $155,000 from that race. Definitely can get our upgrade, which is really nice. Rusty Wallace, I, he definitely won multiple times this year. He's fifth in the standings now. That's his third win on the season. We have four on the year. Wow, we I think we have the most wins on the year. I didn't even realize that. That's crazy because we definitely have won Sonoma, Martinsville, I don't even remember the other two off the top of my head. I really don't remember where we won. That's crazy. So we're 10th in points now. Uh, we just jumped Ward Burton, it looks like. Or uh, we were barely ahead of Labonte in that race, so I don't think we gained much on him. But Sterling and Mark Martin are very, very tight now, 18 points apart. I, uh, I, who, Kurt Busch was the one right behind Sterling Martin. He dropped significantly. Gordon jumped up a lot as well, only five points behind uh, Mark Martin. So... That's very interesting. It's getting a very tight points battle at this point in the year. We're 10th, which is nuts. Next year, I'm definitely upping the difficulty to like legend or whatever the hardest is. But let's go get this upgrade for the car. I don't think it's necessarily going to help us for Bristol. But hell, I want the upgrade regardless. I don't care if it's for a short track or not. Uh, we're going to get this upgrade, and that's going to help us quite a bit. More horsepower, more peak torque, red lines better, and the weight is a ton better. So that should help us out a lot, especially at places like Michigan where we just were. Only if we could have had it for Michigan, that would have been nice. But uh, we sell our other one for a little bit, so we still have $200,000 left. Almost exactly. That's pretty funny. So let's get on to Bristol and see how we can do. All right, felt pretty good in qual uh, in practice from what we ran before. We ran a 16.2, which is like a couple tens faster than what we ran earlier in the season. We ran a 16.4 earlier in the season. I honestly think this could have been one of the races that we did win earlier because the short tracks we've been very good at. I do think we won Richmond off the top of my head now as well. So that could be our four. Sonoma, Martinsville 100%. I remember that. And I know we dominated Sonoma recently. And then uh, I could think it would be maybe Bristol and Richmond. I can't remember if we won Richmond. I think we did in a pretty good battle. Like, it was a pretty tight battle. Very, very close with, like, Kurt Busch or somebody like that, if I remember correctly. But we get one lap here trying to maximize everything. Trying not to push too hard and go up the track. Stay pretty low. All right. 16 219 faster than we had in practice i'll take that that puts us top five for sure so far and we qualified pretty late we fell down to eighth though so we got a little bit of work to do a little bit of uh cars to pass but once the traffic starts to hit i think we start to pass people pretty easy because uh it helps us are you ready for intensity on wheels i'm alan bestwick welcome to bristol motor speedway Bristol's 36-degree banked concrete bullring provides some of the sport's most exciting fender bang and racing. 147,000 permanent seats and a half-mile layout guarantees the crowd is loud and hungry for action. Yeah, it should be a fun one. Uh, hopefully we don't cause too many wrecks. I definitely know we caused at least one wreck here last time. We got 65 laps. We got 33 in fuel, 32 in fuel. We definitely can dive bomb these corners better than them. Oh my god, we're like almost three wide racing here at Bristol. That is nuts. We're not good on the exits though when we're pinched down. So I think we roll the top better just so we can try to keep up some speed and we can dive bomb a little easier. But let's try not to wreck Mark Martin mainly. I know he's right behind us. So that reminded me of it. Because uh, we had uh, a tough one last time. I do remember wrecking him, I think. 
Maybe this wasn't one of the tracks we won either. Yeah, I'm there. not sure. But I do think when lap traffic starts to come around is when we really start to shine. Like, we'll struggle for a little bit right around here. And then lap traffic start hitting and we go flying forward because we can Car pass low. and uh, dive bomb a lot better Car than uh, these guys. We can get by a lot of cars pretty quickly when uh, we start catching them, which we will really fast. We got Mark Martin on our inside. He's just ripping right along the inside. Running right there with Harvick. He's going to get by us there. Back to eighth again. That's completely fine. They're almost three wide up there for the lead. Rusty Wallace holding off Marlin. And Marlin's had a rough stretch here of late. He has fallen down on the points significantly from what he did, what he had earlier in the season. He had like over 100, almost 200 point lead at one point, I think. And now he has like an 18 point lead over Mark Martin here in front of us and Jeff Gordon as well, which I don't know where Jeff Gordon's at. Honestly, shocked he's not anywhere up here because he is good as hell at Bristol. That was a 16-0. Holy crap, that was flying. I don't know what I did on that lap, but we were fast. That's all I know. Oh, Rusty Wallace almost lapping or, or almost wrecking a lap car. No not there. almost lapping a wrecked car. <laughs> oh, I'm dyslexic as hell sometimes, I swear. It's funny. But we're catching lap traffic already. We got 59 to go, so we're like six laps in. Now already getting people lapped, so that is awesome. It gets so hectic. It's I love it. I love how crazy it gets. Honestly, the AI might cause a wreck. I think that did happen the first race here in the season. I think I caused a wreck. I think a couple of the, the AI cars Still caused there. wrecks. Who knows what's going to happen here. here. It's some really crazy tight racing. Somebody nailed the wall there. I think it was a lapped car. Holy crap. Mark Martin, you're going to get yourself wrecked from the lap Wonder car. Line. He's like pinching him all the way down. I was right on his bumper too. That was super tight. I don't know how I didn't get in the all back clear. of him. Oh, like that. But we're fine. Labani's all good. Trying to get by this Wood Brothers car. We're gonna we're gonna split him three wide. Yeah, I want to go bottom. Try and get by Mark Martin that way. That was beautiful. Trapped Mark Martin behind the lap car up top. Bobby Labani negotiating his way around the other guys. We're starting to move forward now a little bit while we uh, trap a couple of these guys behind lap cars. But they, people are making very All bold high. moves. Look All at Bobby player. Labonte weave his way around. Matt Kenseth is stuck up here uh, behind a lap car on the top side. Oh, he's going to pull down right there. We're going to try. Oh, we dropped the third gear. That wasn't good. Slow down a little too much there All in that high. corner. I was trying to uh, make a maneuver down on the inside of the 119 if we could. That would have been huge. But uh, we downshifted the third, so that did not help us at all. all clear. Oh, dove it a little too hard, went way up the track, run that Larson line. Doesn't have too much grip here in this game. How much uh, last of fuel? 20. Oh, we already have a red freaking nose. What the hell? We have 10% radiator damage. Since when? We really haven't even hardly hit anybody yet. That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts to me. We're up to six, though. We got Ken. To, he got stuck behind that lapped car. That was one. We're going to have to pit here in like 15 laps though. And I do not want to pit under green. Pitting under green is bad. Blabani's getting stuck behind that lapped car. Harvick's starting to go a little slow. That's up to fifth right there. Let's go. We need a caution though for pit stops. Because I do not want to pit under green. Because if a caution comes out under green, we are screwed. Oh, well, if caution comes out under green, that's the only time a caution will come out. But if a caution comes out during the pit cycle, we are screwed because we have to pit earlier than everybody else because we don't hold as much fuel as everybody else. For some reason, we always are like the first cars to pit because I'm going to run out of fuel all the time. But we are making by these lap cars. Got by uh, Harvick. Labani also got by Harvick now. Damn, absolutely flying. There's a cluster of fucking cars up here. That is crazy. I heard scraping behind me. I think that was Labani on the Andretti back there. Labani is absolutely flying now. We're going to dive bomb the hell out of Elliot Sadler to get by him. It made the room for Labani as well. We definitely aren't the fastest here. I'll tell you that. But we could pass the hell out of some lap cars. Ricky Rudd is really stuck right now. These cars are too wide in front of him. And he is stuck straight behind, I think it is, Mike Wallace. I want to say that is. Potentially. How many laps of fuel do we have left? 16. 16 laps of fuel left. I need to take a little bit of grill uh, tape out of this car with our radiator damage. We're up to third now. And Sterling Marlin is right with Rusty Wallace up there. They are both stuck behind lap cars too wide. That is crazy. We are up to third. I cannot believe that. I see a lot of smoke. Don't know what's going on. Sterling Marlin has the lead. We're catching up to Rusty Wallace, though, now. 
Tires are fine. We have 14 laps of fuel left. Yeah, I'm not worried about my oil temp too much, but I do want to drop a little bit of the grill tape so we can not be as tight. That's the main thing. We have a lot of aero damage. I really don't know why we have so much front end damage. I feel like we didn't really hit anybody. Rusty Wallace was stuck behind these guys for way too long. That sucks. That's going to get us out in front of him. That's perfect. Sterling. Hello. Come here. Let me get a lap led before we have to hit the pits because I'm shocked this thing has gone green for this long. This has been absolutely nuts. Still there. That's all I have to say. All clear. Sterling's stuck too wide. We can go by even higher. Stuck, stick him behind them. Try and push the 141 down a little bit. Hell yeah, we led that Still lap. There. Oh, go we're overdriving that corner. But we're good. We led a lap. I'm happy. We got those five bonus points, baby. Let's go. Let's try to get our fifth win of the year. This is absolutely crazy. Ryan Newman's stuck behind this 115, but Ryan Newman's a lap car, too, at this point. That is crazy. 11, 10 laps of fuel left. We're going to have to pit here in, like, five laps, and if there's no caution. I don't, know, I don't want to bring out a caution by any means. No, I do not. Oh, jeez. I need to get... I need to stay low, but at the same time, I'm trying to put some more distance. Oh, Ricky Rudd is flying. Oh, don't wreck Newman. Ricky Rudd uh, was way all back clear. there, and all of a sudden, he is up here in second. He, he got around Rusty Wallace, Sterling Marlin. He is absolutely Marlo. flying now. I think he was in, like, fifth or sixth when we passed him. I don't know what got Marlo. into him. He put he turned on the damn all nitrous high. in that car. All clear. How many laps of left? Eight. Oh, Ricky Rudd's getting the, around us. He is moving right now. Oh, Junior being a lap Marlo. car. Oh, he's moving up. He, we're going three wide Marlo. here at Bristol. Jesus. Oh, Junior's pissed. He was trying to move that guy down. Go, Junior, go. I'm trying to I'm trying to battle here with Ris uh, Ricky Red on the bottom. <laughs> Sterling Clear Marlin's high. on our ass. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how there was no wreck right there between any of the lap Clear cars. High. That was Marlo. nuts. Oh, my goodness. Clear this is low. absolutely crazy. Ricky Red's stuck right now. We need a pit, and I think uh, pit road speed is like 35 miles an hour. Carlo. I think I'm going to pit this next lap. I honestly do. I really hope there's no caution when we pit. That's going to be devastating if there is. So we're going to have to pit off a of turn four up here. All clear. We're going to pit right here. Try and get down to the bottom. Get it down, You're slowed in up. Pit lane. I'm in the wrong pit lane. How am I on the back? What? I qualified 7th or 8th, something like that. How am I in the wrong pit lane? That's some bullshit. That's all I gotta say. Usually it goes by where you qualify. Oh, and we're gonna spin out there almost. Jesus. We're in the wrong damn pit lane. That is gonna ruin our race. That is unfortunate because uh, the first race here, we did not have to pit for fuel. Uh, 33 laps, will that be enough? Oh, just get a full can. And we got tires. God dang it. The pit road is too short. I was thinking too long. And we got repairs. Oh, we ruined our race right now. No. Oh, bad decisions were made. Went down the wrong pit lane. Got tires. Got damage repaired. We don't need any of that. We just needed five seconds of fuel to and go. Instead, we're going to have like a 22-second freaking pit stop here. And we're going to be like five laps down at this point. Oh, no. And there better, there's better not be a damn caution. I swear, if there's a damn caution, I'm going to lose my shit. I think Sterling Marlin's probably the leader up there because uh, Ricky Rudd's right here behind him. And we were all three were battling for the lead before I pitted in the wrong pit lane. I can't believe it doesn't go by where you qualify. Like, what the hell? I guess we're always just on the back regardless. Wish I would have known that because the first Bristol race, we didn't have to pit on the green, so I had no clue. That is quite unfortunate for us. How many laps down here? I'm scared to look. Three? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Let's not cause a wreck here. Because uh, Ricky Rubber was really slow there. Our front end's fixed a lot now, so we don't really have radiator damage. I wasn't able to take down the uh, tape like I wanted to either. Man, like I was so flustered after pitting in the wrong pit lane. That's awful. Let's try to get by Marlin if we can. Come on, guys. Keep it green. If we can go a full green race at Bristol, though, that's nuts. Oh, leader's taken uh, into the pits. Oh, and Sterling's flying around us. <laughs> He's now the leader. 
I need to see this. Uh, are we going to get back on the two laps now? Yeah, that Sterling Marlon was the leader. He just pitted on the front stretch. So we're two laps back, and them pitting, they're probably only getting fuel, and we're still going to be a lap down. So, yeah, Ricky Rudd, he's coming back out. We're going to be one lap behind him, but really far behind him is the problem. Oh, my God, there's people wrecking. There's people wrecking in this corner. He stopped down below. Holy crap. That's not good. That could cause a big wreck. Or the caution in general. I don't want a caution. I do not want a caution. We're still two laps down. Yellow is out. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, my goodness. I don't even know where we're going to be. We're 32nd. We're at the very front of the line to try to get a lap back at least. So that's nice. So we can actually only be one lap down by staying in front of the leader. That would be a positive. We just have to stay in front of him. I know we could battle with them pretty well. Oh, geez. Like, I would need... I could get some spots back. Oh, my goodness. Rusty, uh, Ricky Rudd went flying into the wall. That was not my fault. He was behind me. I don't know why he went flying in the wall. I don't know if uh, Sterling got into him or what, but Sterling's now out front leading more laps. He, I don't know who's going to lead the most in the race. He led some earlier. Uh, Ricky Rudd led a decent bit, but Sterling led more, I think. And I led a handful. That was a 15-9? Holy crap. We got some free reign in front of us, and we are digging. Tires are non-existent uh, tire wear because we got them changed. That's probably why. We definitely can gain some spots. If a caution were to come out and us only being one lap down, we could potentially get back on the lead lap and then have another caution, but that would be really difficult to do. I think we'd have to be like the front of the front on the restart two again. That would be really lucky, but they have another 15-9. We are digging right now, man. We are absolutely flying. We're catching the guys we need for a position, but I did, the only problem is I don't know how many people we're gonna get for a position. Just because uh, I don't know how many people are one lap down. Probably a decent bit, honestly, because uh, now being one lap down, we could potentially get to the front of that pack, which would be nice. Rick, uh, Rusty Wallace is now in the lead, actually, behind us, it looks like. I see the uh, Miller Lite slash Rusty Wallace car behind us, because in this game, it doesn't do the um, alcohol sponsors and stuff, so it just says their name if they had one, but the Miller Lite sponsored car behind us. Oh my god, there's a gaggle of cars up there, two wide, almost three wide. That looks crazy up there. But uh, Mike Wallace here on the outside in the white car. That's going to be the first one we can get for position. Rusty has been catching us because we've been going by all these guys on the outside. But I think I could make this work maybe. Yes, we can. Just do a little slide job right in front of Mike Wallace. That's for our position. Now let's see how far we can get up because we're in 31st a lap down. There's a lot of cars lap down, I think. So, honestly, I think we can still get a decent finish here. Uh, we just have to make passes, which is the hardest part. I'm going to try to go on the outside of, like, all these guys. Oh, no, they're three wide. They're three damn wide. Can we make it four? Can we make it four? We sure can. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is nuts. Is Jeff Gordon four position? I don't know if he is. He's not. So, he's on the lead lap, it looks like. I would imagine that Gordon's on the lead lap, but he honestly could be two laps down. Who knows? We're up to 26 All from that little pack. Only another second away from a couple more spots. Rusty Wallace is going to be Car stuck high. behind that group for a while, unless I really broke up that group, maybe. I don't know. Elliot Sadler and the guy that's on his ends. Oh, no. That dude braked so hard. That's going to be a caution, isn't Car it? High. That's probably going to be a caution, I think. I know that was a big-ass wreck. I right hooked the shit out of that dude by hitting him in the left rear, like straight on. That was pretty damn bad. 23rd though now. And Mark Martin looks like the last one maybe on the lead lap because we're 12 seconds behind him. So that would be like almost another lap. So we can get up to 22nd where we are now. We're like the first car one lap down. So really if the caution comes out right now, we could potentially get back on the lead lap. And then another caution could bring us like to where all the other cars are. But Auto. honestly, we don't have much Go time clear. left is the problem. We, we only have like less than 15. We have 13 to go right now. We are fighting Bobby Labonte for the quote-unquote lucky dog, even though there's no lucky dog back then. Like basically to start on the front row, we can get back on the lead lap. But hell yeah, that's going to get him stuck back there. 
but Mark Martin, nine and a half seconds ahead of us. Don't know if we can make up that time in 12 laps. We might, honestly. Who knows? But that would be really nice because I think I, we might not be the first one to lap down anymore because of the this green flag run. Might have put more people a lap down because I haven't seen like Rusty or anything like that that we fought with up front. Haven't seen Rusty, Marlin, Ricky Rudd. Uh, who are the other guys we were battling with way up there? Mark Martin was up there. Oh, yeah, Mark Martin's in 21st now. So, yeah, I didn't wreck him. Not yet, at least. Hopefully we don't. <laughs> uh, we might be able to catch him, though. 8.3, we're catching him like a second a lap almost because of these lap traffic cars, I think. I'm thinking Junior is multiple laps down because I remember passing him earlier when we were in the lead. Unless Junior got lucky with the caution and is on the lead lap like way up there. I don't know. That could be really lucky for him. But, man, what a turn of events this race went. We got some laps led, which was freaking awesome. Got some extra bonus points for that. And then went down the wrong pit road. Then went down the right pit road. Took tires. Got damage repaired. Had, like, a 21-second pit stop when we were only supposed to have a 5-second pit stop. So that was a whole mess. Oh, somebody's spinning out up here. That honestly could be a caution. There's a yeah, he three. stopped down there. John Andretti, he's absolutely stopped down there. He's just like high-sided. His tire's stuck in the air down there, I think. That could be a caution. Waiting for it to be one. Has anybody nailed him? I think he might have gotten it going, unfortunately. Yeah, he's not here no more. He just got it going, it looks like, on the front stretch. That is unfortunate. Five laps to go. Oh, don't wreck him. How Our much high. damage do we have on the front end? Oh, our car is probably really damaged. It's blinking. 35% on the radiator. Yikes. Okay. If we hit the front end again, uh, or really any side of the car hard enough, we might blow our engine. And we're, by, we're fighting with Bobby Labonte again for position. Damn it. That's not good. We were catching Mark Martin. Now we're a little slower, I feel like. I feel like we're a little slower now. Oh, John Andretti, why couldn't you have brought out a caution? That would have been so nice, because I nailed the back of Newman to really damage our car a lot right after that. All, All right, yeah, we're clear good on Bobby Labonte now. Okay, we got four laps left. He's not going to catch us. I don't think we're going to catch Mark Martin either is the problem. Because this has been uh, an interesting race, to say the least. Very, very high ups and very low downs. They are four wide up there. <laughs> this race has been nuts, though. Like, absolutely nuts. It says two to go, but white flag. Oh, yeah, forgot. We're a lap down. So, yeah, white flag for the leader. And we're coming around to maybe take the white now. Or is this the checker? No, this is the white for us Last now. Lap. And the leader was not too far behind us taking the checkered. Oh, what happened to Kevin Harvick? Oh, he's a lot of front end damage, but he is like multiple, or he's at least a lap ahead of us. And it looks like Herbie Sather is going to finish in front of us. Mark Martin got around him before the finish. We finish in 22nd. Not a whole lot we could do about that. I want to see how many people are on the lead lap here. Uh, only 10. Only 10 were on the lead lap. If a caution came out, we could have gotten up to 11th, which is absolutely nuts. But we finished 22nd. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. Still get $75,000 from that race. Not too bad. Probably got some decent sponsor goals leading a lap and whatnot. Uh, got 22nd. We did get five bonus points at least. So we, we scored like 21st points instead, kind of. We fell back to 11th in the standings. That's all right. We're having a tight battle here for the top 10. If we could finish top 10, that's great. If not, that's okay. We were, our uh, goal here was 35th in this season. So we're 11th currently having a great season. And uh, I'm pretty sure Rusty Wallace won that race. I forgot to look. But uh, yeah, we're having a good season. Very happy about that. Where are we going next uh, episode? Next episode will be... Darlington, that's a gnarly one. And then also we are going on the Saturday race back to Richmond, which I think we did really good at Richmond. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.